Okay, so here is a slightly more advanced thing in RDWorks that we're going to show. Um, so let me get all of this to be black. So let's say I've got this uh, shape that I've brought in, this geometry I've created, and I brought it in, and I want to cut it out on the engraver. And I only want to cut around the, the silhouette. Everything else in this, I want to, um, any other lines, I just want to etch on there to give the detail to understand what it is. So it's only the outer piece that uh, I'm going to use the color black to kind of define the speed and power settings to cut through my material. All of the other lines, I'm going to choose another color. So I'm going to select them and choose a different color. So that would be, I'm going to choose the color red, which is also the color that just so happens to turn when you select something. So I want that to be red and I want this to be red and I'm going through and I'm making all the other stuff red. And then lo and behold, I discovered that, oh no, this right here is on the outside and it is red, not black. And so there's different situations that we come across. You may think, oh, I want to make that black. Oh, it's not black. Um, I could create more geometry. I could do something different. But generally what happened here is the order that you created the geometry from the beginning, you probably kind of made this oval. And so that's viewed as one thing. You didn't necessarily stay on the outside and create geometry. That's all linked together from the beginning. So. Um, and maybe it just exported and kind of figured it, its own geometry out. So, so here we go. We want to somehow get this section right here of kind of this, this oval to be black and then everything else to be red. I do not want to cut, um, you know, past this point into here. So turning this entire thing black is not an option, right? That entire thing would kind of fall out and be a separate piece. And not cutting here is not really an option for me either because it'll be still stuck to my material. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, change from the regular select cursor to the edit node. Um, it is this oval here that I'm really working with. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to see that there's a lot of little points. And so you may not have a node exactly where you want, but what I'm going to do is choose um, a point along that. And that point, that node is what it is called. Um, I'm going to um, choose, there's a couple options here to either combine nodes or break nodes. Um, you also have the ability to kind of add nodes where there aren't any, so I can add a node, but I'm going to go ahead and just work with the nodes that are here for this video, and I'm going to choose break curve. Okay, I can go back to the regular select cursor, and if I choose that, it really doesn't show me anything. It looks like it's all one piece. That's because I kind of had a closed loop, and if you think of kind of cutting it at, in one place, well, the entire thing is still kind of one thing, even though you kind of severed, severed a point. Um, it's still part of the same piece of material. So if I make a second cut, I'm going to turn on edit node again. Um, down here, I'll actually go with this point right there. That lines up nicely. Oh, I think I lost. You got to be careful here. Instead of trying to select it, I can also, I found this helpful, select the curve and then make a box, a very small box. I'm zoomed in just around that node to select the node. And then I will choose break curve there. I now go back to my regular select. And now I can try to grab the geometry. And I realize that I have made two cuts separating these from two different pieces. So I have that piece and I have this piece right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece, this curve and turn it into black. <clears throat> and then the other piece will stay red. Now, I'm not crazy happy about that because it's gonna cut into and that's not what I want either. So how about I turn edit node back on, choose this. And now this is where instead of adding nodes and kind of, I, I could have added a node exactly where I want. Um, I'm just gonna do the simple thing, which is to kind of move that to about right there. And then I will have to grab this piece. I don't want that little gap without a line and extend it. Now, I run the risk of moving those around by changing some geometry and stretching things. I know, but um, I'm trying to just get people that haven't messed with these nodes before to have just kind of one option at this point. So um, I'm going to bring this node. Oh. Should be there. I'm going to bring this one more precisely to that point. And then this one here for the other curve, that's going to be red. Let me get out of the edit node, make sure that's still black. Yep. <clears throat> so for this curve right here, that's a bad thing with black is that you can't tell which one's selected. I'm going to grab this node. I'm zoomed way in. I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to pull it back to right here. So at that level that I'm zoomed in, that's pretty good. So there you go. That is <clears throat> that ability. Now, I could go slightly better, which is even better. This is um, right now, <clears throat> this piece is viewed as a separate piece of geometry. What if I'd like to merge it and kind of connect it back to that? 
<clears throat> we can do a very similar thing. Edit node. I'm going to choose both curves, though, this curve and this curve, by holding down the shift key to get, grab a second curve. Um, and now there should be two nodes that are pretty close together, right? I'm going to use my box, click and drag to make a box to highlight the two endpoints. Both nodes are now selected. And I'm going to come over here and choose combine nodes. Okay. And then I'm going to repeat that process down here. There should be two nodes that are pretty close together. If I zoom in, they're not the exact same point. So even if they, I dragged them perfectly, there should be two technically there. So I'm going to drag this, highlight both of them, and I'm going to say combine nodes. Maybe. It's not doing it for me, so let me try again. It's not even, um, let me toggle in and out of that mode real quick. I'm going to select. Hmm. Hold down shift, get that. Okay. Get a little box, get both of those, say combine. Sometimes you just got to try something else. Uh, I don't know why it's... Maybe it did it. Let's see. <clears throat> if I select that, everything is turning red. And if I do that, you can see that those are actually indeed combined. OK? Um, so now we have one piece of geometry for the entire outer piece instead of like two separate pieces. And I can simulate that if I want to see what's going to happen. <clears throat> Turns out that my red currently is set to infill. And so it's filling in the areas that are red. I don't really want to take the time to watch all that. I could speed it up. And then it's going to follow and cut along that line. And I can close out of there. So there you go. There's a slightly more advanced option to edit nodes, to be able to break curves and combine curves and kind of do some editing that maybe you didn't otherwise know how to do inside RDWorks.